Good evening and welcome to our post-game women's volleyball press conference. We will start the press conference with an opening statement from head coach Natalie Regan, and then we'll open it up to questions for coach, along with players Natalie Glenn and Ella Lamagora from the media. Thank you, Lindy. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank Washington for making the trip out second year in a row. Uh, they're an incredible team, so they deserve a lot of uh, credit for the win tonight, and we're excited to see the rest of their season. Questions? Coach, you got off to a hot start in set number one, but then you rapidly cooled off in set two, and then set three, you dropped a heartbreaker, and set four, it just felt like an uphill climb. What do you think you could have done a little bit better to possibly turn the tide and maybe force a fifth and get the win? Yeah, set one was good for us. Uh, we were we were happy with that set. There's also a lot of meat left on the bone. So we talk about trusting our training and playing Long Beach State Volleyball. And there's a lot of room here for us to continue to perform like ourselves. And so we were happy with set one, but it was it did feel like a space where we still have some meat left on the bone. Hey, Coach Matt from the 562.org. First set, you guys pull off the win, obviously going against a tough team, ain't no. Um, what are those adjustments that you maybe saw them do to kind of uh, get Natalie out of the mix? She had nine kills in the first set, kind of got you guys out of that um, advantage you had. She was hot. What kind of adjustments did you see from them? Yeah, they, uh, they did a better job at their scouting report of making sure that they were scheming their block towards Nat. And that... I, I think slowed her down slightly, if if much at all. But more than anything, they ramped up their serving. And they're a great serving team. And it was hard for us to fight that off. So it felt like we were in medium system a lot. Um, but besides that, they were scrappy. And they did a great job of picking up our junk um, and really staying aggressive in transition. And I think for us, that's something that you know we pride ourselves on. And it didn't quite go our way. And there's there's a lot of room for us to stay aggressive in those instances and score some points. Hello, Coach. I'm an editor from the Long Beach Current. And so it seemed like there was a handful of times where the calls by the refs could have been questionable on both ends. So after disagreeing with the ref call, when do you decide that it's kind of time to challenge it or just leave it alone? I thought the refs had a good game. I have a lot of questions for the refs in the moment, and uh, there's a lot of conversation that goes on to try to understand what they saw from their perspective. But from their perspective, I think they truly had a good game. You know, they they had some tough calls go their way, and whenever the ball you know reaches the plane of the net before the third touch, it's always a tricky situation, especially not being able to challenge that ball. So they were put in some tough situations, but I thought overall the refs had a good game. A uh, question for Ella. I mean, going to the positives, uh, you've been pretty hot offensively uh, to start the season. Uh, what has it been just finding that connection mostly with Zayna, but I think he had one with Maddie uh, this game as well. So uh, what have you seen from your setters and yourself being able to connect? I think that me and Zayna have just had a lot of open communication lately, which has helped a lot during practices and during games. And we're constantly communicating with each other and seeing like what routes I can run, like how can we get me open and like can bake in our other middle open. Um, so I think that has just been extremely beneficial and it's helped our relationship this season. And then Natalie, talk about the growth of Ella and how she's kind of been your left hand person to help you take the pressure off you so you don't have to like carry a massive workload offensively. The right hand to your left hand. <laughs> Um, I love playing with Ella. She brings a very calm presence on the court. Like, um, this game, this is the first game I kind of felt kind of nervous and like, uh, lining up in rotation with Ella and just like having her smile and Abby's like pregame talk that she does, <laughs> um, just kind of calm my nerves. But Ella also just blocking with her and like just getting touches just it's just fun to be on the court with her. <laughs> uh, Natalie, if I may, what were maybe causing those nerves pregame? Was it uh, an opponent in Washington? Was it uh, something else? Maybe just a Thursday game, a little bit unusual? Um, honestly, I don't know. I didn't really think about that. I tried to just say I was excited instead of nervous. Um, yeah, so I guess I was just really excited for the game, <laughs> Thursday night game. 
I, I will say just to speak on that, you know, this week is a is a big week in a sense. It's the last week of preseason before we get to flex some stuff in conference. And for us, you know, this weekend is a part of our journey the ups and the downs. And it's something that, you know, we talk a lot about learning from our losses and, and also learning from our wins. And so making sure that we find a way to learn from this and then be better tomorrow. And you mentioned tomorrow, you're basically now in halftime mode and you got Washington State tomorrow and then you got another halftime mode where you face Pepperdine on Saturday. Obviously, Friday is what matters the most. What will it take to bounce back from this game and take down Washington State, which outlasted CSUN in five? Yeah, it's halftime. We, uh, we need to respond. And we need to take some ownership in terms of not letting balls drop in transition. We need to take some ownership in staying aggressive. We need to take some ownership in serving tough. And for us, that response is massive. And seeing the girls tonight and, and seeing the determination in their eyes, that response, I believe, is going to be a very, very good one. Okay, question uh, for Natalie. You had 14 kills, which is so far season high for today's game. What shots do you think kind of worked best for you to rack up those kills tonight? Um, <clears throat> um, usually uh, left blockers, they drift a lot, so the seam is open quite often. But um, I've been working on um, more like off-speed shots in the court. I had two, but they weren't kills. But um, I got the mass system. And then um, just using my vision, like I can see the block pretty well. So just not hitting into their hands. Ella, for you, a little bit more of a similar question. Uh, have you been seeing the blocks or the defense on the other side better than maybe you were last season? And, and that's what's come to fruition for the kills. I think that I definitely have like been learning how to see the block and creating more vision for myself and creating space and depth away from like the net and the set that allows me to see that block a little bit more. So I feel like I, I've been working on it in practice and focusing on it a lot more. So I've been able to move the ball around and that's helped me. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.